So it has to be said, I love a challenge. I've beaten my dad, he was on an e-bike. I've burnt 10,000 calories. I've done the longest descent. I've ridden from Paris to Lyon on a 100-year-old bike. But what is next? What can I do? Well, I think, I think I've got an idea for you. I did a half marathon for seven days over on GTN. I've got to say, we, it was... Seven days? Yeah, it was flipping hard, but I'd say I did a pretty good job. I think it's time to pass the baton over to GCN. So what's a good equivalent? What? You're going to say 100K, aren't you? Yeah, I'd probably say that's it, yeah. 100K for seven days? Around work? Yeah, that's a good idea, right? I feel like this one's going to hurt. Sleep deprivation, hours on the bike, sore legs, sore muscles, lack of sleep. Right, you're on. I'll do it for GCN! You might think riding 100 kilometers a day for a week would be a walk in the park for me, but you'd be wrong. For this challenge, I'll also be doing everything I'd usually get up to in a normal working week. And then squeezing in those miles, it's just gonna be tough, both physically and mentally. Luckily, just like Mark on GTN, I've got some help in the form of nutrition, from Newsest, and I'll tell you more about them soon. But I should really get onto it now. Right, stop procrastinating, let's go. Good morning, it's day one, and I am off to somewhere in Wales. I'm about to hop in the car and head off to meet Connor, because because today I am riding 130K to see how long it takes Connor to bonk. I'm hoping I'm not gonna get too damaged because it is only day one, but I am starting off the right way with a protein shake. And as per usual, I'm running late. Here we go. To safety. Sorry. Here we go, mate. So day one into my 100k a day and I've surpassed 100k already on my first day. I'm on 119k. Work has got me riding with Connor until he bonks. And he's bonked. Day one is complete and I am shattered. That was a way harder ride than I was expecting. 130K with efforts, trying to get Connor to bonk. And it took longer than I was expecting, but he did bonk in the end. My only worry is, that is day one. Day one done. Six more to go, 600K to go. And I'm hoping it's gonna get easier, but I don't think it is. Right. Time for some sleep. So before I start my next working day, I should probably mention how I'm getting myself through this challenge to give me the best chance possible in making it all the way to Sunday and 700K. Now I have teamed up with the guys from Newsest who have sent me a bunch of their products. Now I'm going for the clean, lean protein. Now this is all plant-based and it's also done with pea protein. So that way it's really good on the digestive system. I've also got some Vitality Mix. Now this has got 75 of high quality vitamins and minerals. Now this is really good for the mornings to give you that extra little boost. Now it's best on an empty stomach actually because that way it kind of gets into your system that bit quicker. I've also asked the guys for some sachets. Now these sachets are good because you can just chuck them in your bag instead of taking a big tub when it comes to doing those split days. And the, that way you know you're getting the exact right serving for your post ride. I better stop procrastinating and get on with the day. And it all starts with a cream protein shake. 
After a really early 4am wake up and a three hour plus drive, I found myself on the southwestern tip of the UK in Cornwall. Now this is where I've been told I've got to fling myself off a pier in the name of science. Yes, I've kind of given up asking questions now. Well, coming up to lunchtime and I've still got to do my 100k, so I'm feeling a little tired, so hopefully it's not going to be too hard. Time to leave the beach and head out onto the roads. Legs are very heavy from yesterday's 140k, so I'm hoping I'm going to manage it. Here it goes. So uh, it's not going too well. I've only done 30K and I've got a puncher. Uh, nothing like a 20% climb to wake the legs up. Ah! 20K and then I've done my 100K. My last 50K, I've ridden into a headwind. So there I have it. Finished where I started back at the sea, 100k later. That was tough. Right, I need to go and get rest and recovery and get a protein shake inside me because tomorrow it starts again. It's only Wednesday. It's Wednesday and today is again a difficult day because, well, luckily I've gone, I'm gonna have some company, but my plan is to ride to work, do some filming. Uh, we're gonna be filming on a, uh, on Coscombe racetrack in the south of England, which should be fun. And then hoping to squeeze in a few kilometers after work. I say a few, it's gonna have to be like 60. I had a good breakfast, good protein shake, but I'm still pretty sore. So I hope I can suffer my way through what's going to be another hard 100k. But luckily, I think I'm meeting my dad along the way. My dad's decided to only this time. I'm racing him so we can treat it as like an interval. So I'm still filming. The light is getting lower. Dad's getting tighter. Bedtime. And I've still got 70k to do on my 100k a day. 50k. I'm halfway through. I am shattered. I am hurting. So I didn't manage the 100K today, I managed 75K. So I'm gonna use the 30K extra I did with, with uh, Connor on Monday, and I'm gonna call that 300K in three days. So quick update, I am on day four. Genuinely really tired. I've been getting my protein shakes in, thanks to the guys at New Zest. So that's been helping my muscle recovery, but then it cuts, then it cuts on to how I'm sleeping. And I've been averaging on my whoop, I've been averaging a strain of 20. So the last three days I've been getting high strain score. And in order to get properly recovered and to stay in the green, I've been trying to get as much recovery as possible. And as you can see, I've been sleeping pretty well too. So I think it's just because I've been so tired. I've, as soon as I've hit the pillow, I've fallen straight asleep and I've got a good solid eight hours sleep in nice deep sleep, meaning I get good recovery. I am feeling pretty nailed though. And I'm gonna 
do everything I can, keep well fueled to get through these next four days. Today I'm gonna to be riding to Bath, doing a Zwift ride and riding back. Oh, I could literally go to bed, don't sleep for a week. Gosh. Right, protein shake and I'm good to go. Day four and I'm off, let's have it. These hills are not doing me any favours. Horrendous. How am I feeling today? Sun is shining, the wind's not blowing. For once I don't have a headwind and everything's looking pretty good. Feel all smug, feel like I should do a dance or something. Oh! Right, I should not have done that. Made it to the office in time. 40 kilometers on the clock. Nice. Time is 8.30 and I've got 50k to go. So I've got another hour and a half ride. Just finished the work day. And I've got to say, I'm going to struggle because there's a lot of cards. <laughs> right, here goes nothing. Once I've done this, that's 400k in the bag. It's coming up to 10 o'clock and I've just done my 100k. I've actually done 120k including the Zwift ride. So that was around 45K to get to work. I did 30K on Zwift and then another 40K back. Fair to say I've done my 100K today, so I've racked up at least 400K, over 400K in four days. And I've got three days to go. Coming up to 12 o'clock, one o'clock, I've uh, had a bit of a busy morning. So I'm gonna try and jump on Zwift for my lunch break. That way I can get some kilometers in before it gets too late, because I don't really want to ride in the dark again. How am I feeling? I mean, I didn't get enough sleep last night. So my recovery score on Whoop has dropped off a cliff, so I'm in the red now, I'm only sitting at 30%. Which basically means that I need more sleep to recover, and I didn't get to sleep till about 12 last night because of my late ride. So I'm hoping my legs are gonna feel a little bit better than my head, but right now, I'm gonna try and clock up some Ks. For some inspiration, I'm gonna watch the Donegal 500 with Connor. Right, that's 70K done. Now back to work, and then I'm gonna finish the last 30K tonight. My legs are so sore. Get the protein in, all about recovery. So just finishing up day five, last K before I've got 500 kilometers done in five days. And it's nine o'clock. I'm absolutely knackered and I've only got two days left. So I need to make sure I get, as always, as much sleep as possible because I was in the red on my whoop. So if I can get some more sleep, hopefully I can be in the green tomorrow. We'll see. Good morning. As you can hear from my voice, I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> Two days to go. And as a cheat, I thought I would uh, treat myself to some croissants this morning. After all, it is the weekend. It's Saturday. I've done third, I've done actually 50k on the on Zwift, and now I'm heading out with my buddy for um, for another 50, 40 or 50k. That way, I've made up my 100k, and I've only got 100k left. But I can feel like there's going to be rain in the air, and I'm praying it's not going to rain because I don't have a cape. But here it goes. Hey, 
60k to go. And then we've done 600k <laughs> in seven days. I had to, I had to work out the maths then. <laughs> James's maths, ideal. Right, current situation. I forgot my cape, schoolboy era. 5k from home. It's so wet! Getting absolutely dumped on. So just got back and uh, it was a bit of a dirty ride, as you can tell. Uh, you can tell who was sat on whose wheel. I, mean, I was on the front the whole time, I don't know what you're talking about. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday and my last day of my 100k day. It's fair to say I'm feeling rather tired. <laughs> Legs are pretty sore. Hopefully I would get through this last 100k and then I would have done 700k this week. Dr. Oliver Bridgewood has come out to give me some support because I've got, this is my last 100k mate. Yeah, Hank's told me that he's flagging so I'm going to try and drag him around. So it means I can sit on Ollie's wheel, um, thank God. So it should be a fun ride actually, I'm looking forward to this one. This is where I'm going to sit. So we're an hour in, pretty sore, but I think this is why it's quite key to have someone to come out with you, like a teammate or a friend, because it really helps motivate you to keep on going, even if you're feeling pretty rubbish. Right, he's ready to go. I'm bubbling. Right, let's go. We got around about 70K to go. <laughs> 60K in. Still 40k to go, always on the job. Downwind. Right, flapjack's volley at the coffee stand. Oh, oh. profiterole. Do I have a profiterole? <laughs> I might get... We, we were here. I might get a coffee cake, actually. <laughs> oh, that'll just me. Go big or go home. Yeah. Bring <laughs> me. Oh, and uh, it's starting to rain. Seventy three K in. It's just ice cream. Great. It's not stopping us though, is it Ollie? No. No. Hammering through here. It'll be about three hours I reckon. All in, hundred K. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we have it, 100k done. Ollie, thanks for It's good that, thanks three for hours. 100k, three hours, easy. Nailed it. So, there we have it. I have survived seven days, 100k a day. And I have to say, it's been a really good challenge. It's been pretty brutal. Like, I have found it pretty hard trying to stay on top of sleep. Um, luckily, I had whoops to try and find out how much sleep I can get and trying to get enough sleep to feel recovered for the, uh, for the, the next day and for the, uh, the next 100K. And then I tried to stick on my nutrition, making sure I got enough protein in to, you know, help the recovery in the muscles. So massive thank you to Nuzes for helping out with this challenge and making sure I'm sticking to a good recovery routine. Now I'm done, I'm pretty happy that it's over. I haven't done 28 hours on the bike around work in a long, long time. And my legs definitely feel it and I can definitely tell you I'm pretty knackered. But I've enjoyed it. And if you guys want to take on a challenge yourself, it doesn't have to be 100k a day, it could be 20k a day, 30k a day, 40k a day, but make sure you get one, good sleep, and two, you get like good nutrition. So you're getting your good proteins in, you're getting good carbohydrates in, you're replenishing all the carbohydrates and the calories you've burnt. That is absolutely key. Good luck to anyone who's taking on any sort of challenge and uh, believe that you can do it and then just stick to it. 
I always like to tell as many people as possible I'm doing a challenge and then there's no way out. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next challenge. And talking of new zest, I better go and get my protein shake.